This year, two brands that impressed us the most in terms of their unconventional take at notchless designs are Vivo and Oppo. These two brands are pretty much neck and neck in terms of performance, design, and even their camera. So this week, we set out to find which of their mid-range contenders takes better photos. This is our Oppo F9 versus Vivo V11 camera shootout. Just like every other camera comparison that we've done, the parameters are the same. Default camera app, mode set to auto, and the comparison will be based on purely unedited JPEGs viewed on a single computer monitor. Let's begin. We begin the shootout on this gorgeous day in Berlin. We're shooting against the light and testing each camera's ability to preserve both details and color in challenging situations like this backlit window. The Vivo V11 is the clear winner here. In the F9 photo, you can barely see any of the details behind the window, and my face is also hidden in the shadows. On the V11, you can see both the subject and the background. We also like how it's able to balance dynamic range really well, resulting in a photo that looks like I had a source of light other than the window. With the sun shining really bright, the F9 offered more contrast and a bluer sky here, while the V11's shot is brighter without losing details. Of this shot at the Berliner Dom, we think it's a tie. One kilometer away from Zoologischer Station is a beer garden. No, it's not a garden of beers, but a lake where you can relax and grab one or two. If you see this restaurant while walking, you'll know you're going the right way. It's a close call for this scenario, and we think this one boils down to preference. We like our photos vibrant and Instagram ready, so Vivo wins this one once again. On the way to the lake, you'll also see a field of beautiful flowers, from sunflowers to roses. Oversaturation and overexposure kind of hurt Vivo in this case because of how bright the sun was, but the F9 was able to manage these factors, resulting in a more balanced photo of red roses. Here at the lake, you can rent one of the boats for 6 euros and enjoy the beautiful weather. There are also benches and recliners where you can grab some food and vice beer. Vivo V11's AI HDR once again is at work here, managing light coming in from the right better than the Oppo F9. This is the Fernsehturm, the tallest point in Germany. It's a close call in this scenario. The V11, as expected, is able to manage dynamic range better, showing a bit of the greens more, but we like how the F9 produced more balanced colors. Getting a Döner Kebab is a must when you visit Berlin. Don't be intimidated by its size, it's mostly vegetables if you need to convince yourself. Here the V11 is once again the clear winner, the colors are more vibrant and the Döner more sumptuous, while on the F9 the Döner doesn't look all that appetizing. Here's Chai enjoying that donor. Well, right before she took the first big bite, we turned on portrait mode with AI beauty in this busy, extremely difficult scenario. Neither of the phones managed to do a blurred background. In Oppo's case, it seems like it focused on the donor as it's the foreground, therefore blurring Chai's face, while Vivo blurred the bottle of orange juice and nothing else. My God, help me to survive this deadly love. This piece by Dmitry Vrubel is probably the most famous artwork you'll see at the East Side Gallery. It depicts the kiss shared by two communist leaders in 1979. This one can go either way, although we appreciate how the V11 was able to preserve a little bit of blues in the sky. Across the east side gallery is this hotel. It's interesting how in this scenario, the F9 produced the brighter photo, while the V11 offered more contrast and darker shadows. We took this right before sunset, and we think it can go either way as both phones retain details in this very busy scene. In this scenario, the winner again boils down to preference and what you want to show. We like the way the F9 managed to show all the details in the background, the trees, the building, and the gorgeous sunset color. But the V11 chose to illuminate the subject and overexpose the background instead you get a 360-degree view of Berlin at the top of the Fernsehturm. The best time to go is right before sunset because there's a restaurant and a bar up top, so you can just relax and enjoy with your friends once it gets dark. It's pretty much even Stevens here, and the only difference is seen when you zoom in. The details on the F9 photo are a little bit mushier than that of the V11. 
Did you know that Berlin has a lot of great Vietnamese restaurants? Neither did we. The food, of course, is not as cheap as it is in Ho Chi Minh or Hanoi, but they taste about just as good. The V11 shot of this Bun Cha Nong again looks more sumptuous, but we do think it's too saturated and yellow, while the F9 is a bit on the dull side. Both the Oppo F9 and the Vivo V11 are supposed to take great selfies, and both phones rely purely on software for that bokeh effect. While we like that the F9 has a wider field of view, the V11 does better cutouts, and even if beauty mode is turned on, the V11 is also able to make my skin more pleasant without blurring or whitewashing. If we were to pick a winner, it would be the V11 from Vivo. While it is a mid-range smartphone, its camera performs as good as the higher-end Vivo NEXS. And that says a lot because we relied heavily on that phone while we were at the World Cup in Russia. Even if we had our trusty Sony A7S, which is what we use to shoot all our videos. Of course, in most, if not all markets, the V11 is more expensive than the F9, but we think that $40 to $50 difference is worth the investment. And that was our Oppo F9 versus Vivo V11 camera shootout. For more videos like this one, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our Facebook page, follow Gadget Match on social media, and make GadgetMatch.com your daily habit. Until the next video, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by.